But you know what? It's in a weird way, uh, during that time, I was kind of, I wouldn't say happy to do it, but I didn't mind waiting because it was just the dopamine that potential you could get from a PUBG victory. It was, it was oh, just, when, when you lost all control of your character and then the screen got that little translucent filter on top of it and it said, winner, winner, winner chicken dinner. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right, we're going to Peter, Peter Griffin's vacation house. You want to go to Hazy Hillside? Sure, just mark it. It is, it is marked. It's a simple 1.2 kilometer drop. It would take me approximately, mm, I'm going to say, 38 seconds to get there at 135 kilometers an hour. What's the fastest you've ever gone in, a, in your car, Dan? I'm not letting you get away with that. I would say whatever the equivalent <clears throat> of um, 150 kilometers per hour. Okay. So it's probably so it's, 90 miles an hour. I think you got it exactly right. You know, some people think I, I don't know math. I know math. So uh, right. times 1.6. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Is there, I know we talk about this a lot. Is there anything <laughs> in your territory of the world that uses standard? Uh, you mean Imperial? Yeah, Imperial I'm not, standard. I'm not going to say standard because that's not, uh, it's not, the, if anything, metric is the standard. Like 7 billion people use it every day. But yeah. But isn't it called standard? We, we call it Imperial. Well, that sounds very like uh, Stormtrooper Emperor Palpatine. I would agree. But it, that's not the case. It's just, a, it's just a superior method of measuring. What the thing that I know we've been through this 20 times. The thing that gets me is when people say, I know metric is better, but Fahrenheit is better than Celsius because a uh, hundred feels hot and 30 feels cold. And I'm like, that's because you grew up with it. Bro, that's like when when people who use Celsius watch like the weather report, they're not like it's 17 tomorrow. What do I do? What do I what 17? What does that mean? You just you 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 learn to live with it. No, but here's the thing. And this is not memes. So freezing for you is zero. Correct. Correct. But hot for you is there's no there's not enough variance. It's like zero you, to 30 is what you work with. You use decimal points, bro. But you never see those. You, well, yeah, because it doesn't matter, like, whether it's 37 or 37.1. It does, though. It, it's whether you wear, like, a light jacket or a vest. No, no half degree in Celsius should change your, uh, your clothing for that day. But the point is, like, you're using a thumb to measure a Lego instead of a ruler to measure a Lego. Okay, well, why, instead of using a triple-digit scale, why don't we use a uh, quadruple-digit scale? Here we go, because that would be ridiculous. Three digits. Just, it's just coincidental. The way I've been doing it my entire life is exactly the optimum way. So let me ask this. A great summer day in Vancouver. Yeah. What's, what's the temperature? First off, we're, a great summer day in Vancouver, we're definitely hitting this. <laughs> this is what brunch looks like. <laughs> for me 30 is a little hot i would rather if, like a 26 with some sun is perfect okay and what's a 15 for you sweatshirt light jacket that just doesn't make any sense <laughs> what but do you, anyway what so do you mean it doesn't make any sense like for me okay 50 is like is like a little chilly 70 you're in springtime 80 plus you're living the, the summer life 100 you're like okay crank that ac but like you have like 10 digits to work with 10 numbers to work with. no because it gets from like minus 10 to like 35 here we got like 45 digits to work with but how many different yeah, temperatures are there there's like freezing cold cool mild hot like that's it's all you need the, the weather report should basically just be like a, a, a color scale it should be like, today is dark blue. Then you'd be like, oh, I'm going to wear a jacket. And they're like, oh, today is like pale yellow. I'd be like, maybe I could do it just like a windbreaker or something. Well, anyway, you're dancing around the question. The mm -hmm. question is, which do you, what standard measurements do you have in Canada, if any? Because I don't know that question. We tend to use, uh, at least in my generation, we tend to use feet for height still and pounds for weight. And but why do you think that is? Because our, our parents grew up doing it. So they if you get on to us, hit a button, you would change it. I I try to use kilograms whenever possible. Yeah. 
Is that because you're anti K Kona? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say. Oh, oh, oh! There's a guy on the on the cabin over here. Oh, he's AI. <laughs> oh, but I faded him, bro. That's one of the best shots of my career. No, I just I I I, I feel like we're making a commitment to the metric system. I'm not gonna be the one who screws it up for everybody. But who's were? The, the the country that I live in. But they're not because you still use pounds. I do, but I'm I'm being part of the problem. Like now I try to use kilograms unless I'm talking to Americans. So let me ask you this then. When your daughter goes to school and they teach her about pounds, mm -hmm. what are they gonna use to measure? Pounds. Probably grams, I would have to guess. But for human weight? We got revenge at Ninja Turtles time. Revenge. Ambrosia. Go get me some pizza, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think they'll use pounds. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I suppose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they I don't think they'll be weighing them in class to begin with, <laughs> to be honest, but unless she goes to, I don't know, unless she goes to boxing school or something. Is boxing like fighting or boxing like candidate boxing? Um like like fighting. You know, you, although it would be nice to have a class that teaches you how to wrap gifts, I suppose. I, I can't get out of Tim Sweeney. I need this. I need help on this one. I can't. I could vault in. I couldn't vault out. PUBG fixed that in 2017. You in? I'm in. Nice right, G wagon, see. bro. Hey, look. We just need to put a little matte wrap on it and it says Phase Jeep. Here we go. Uh, I have a question about uh, the state of Michigan. Yes. Have you ever seen a car with an anime character rap on it? Mm, never. I would say in Vancouver, I see it once every two months. <laughs> and, and it's a different one every time, I think. My question, the follow-up question to that is, do you recognize the anime character? Literally never. It's never Goku. It's always uh, like some Genshin Impact character. But you recognize that it's Genshin Impact. Well, I recognize that it's a, a woman. <laughs> oh, come here, come here, come here. Where are you, I'm, my guy? I'm on, I'm on route 10 4. Oh, pizza time! You cannot eat anymore? That, I take that as a challenge. I, you know what? They did a good job because I always feel like as a kid, the Ninja Turtle pizza always looked a little like wet. Don't you think that looks wet, pizza? I mean, I think there's a problem. I, I don't understand really why the mushrooms are blue, but... <laughs> I mean, should we call Mathis? <laughs> I don't even get it, but I like it. <laughs> All right. Let's... Oh, there's some loot in here. In here, yes. Oh, because Fortnite mushrooms are blue, of course. I don't think anything in this game is by accident. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. There's, there's, there's deep lore. There's cathedrals everywhere for those with the eyes to see. All right. Hang it. Why well, can't hear you? I mean, I can hear you. I just can't hear the game. I think I'd be silly not to, not to give this a try. Oh man. Do you hear double audio or no? Uh, I I used to hear it occasionally, but no longer. Okay, good. We're whoa, back. whoa, whoa! Put that thing away, buddy. What was your favorite Ninja Turtle as a kid? I'm gonna let you guess, and I think you're gonna get it in one. Okay, I think adult. <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> Insane! In holy cow, he was ripping him up. <laughs> I, think, I think you have different different ones as an adult than as a kid. I think as a kid. Raphael was a little too rude for you. That is 100% true. Leonardo was a little too play by the rules for you. Also true. Donatello you probably related with a little bit because he was the smartest, but I think you were a Michelangelo fan because you threw crackers at people in grade school. <laughs> it's close, but I was actually a Donatello guy. Because he was the smartest? I, I, he was the smartest, and I liked his bow staff. Also, he was goaded in... Uh, the Super Nintendo game, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Oh. See, I was going to say you're a Donatello fan as an adult, but you know what? It's the same thing for you. Oh. Get behind me! Sarah Angel? 
Oh, 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 dude. Oh, my God. What are you doing, bro? There's, there's a, a lad in the middle distance. At the rock. I apologize. It could be more helpful. Oh! Nice shot. I feel like sometimes I ask chat about stuff and they don't tell me. So like that, that when I knocked out Princess Leia, I had a flashback of like asking chat why people go to anime conventions and they take pictures of someone stepping on them. Do you know mm. why that is? Uh, yeah. They won't tell me. It's like a, it's, it's, um, it's like a, a an erotic meme. Like it's a meme or they like, like it. It might be both. Oh, okay. But chat went, okay. I understand. I mean, I, I understand I can't relate, but I understand. You never wanted to be stepped on by a lady who's like taller than you? <laughs> I mean, I guess if you bring it up that way, maybe as a kid when you watch like Xena Warrior Princess, you'd be like, you know. Get ready for this. I mean, you did that to yourself, buddy. I don't know what you want me to say about that. Get faded. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, they, they're saying Dan gets it. Dan gets it. I mean, I maybe had that thought once as like a 15-year-old watching Xena Warrior Princess. You never, uh, you know, in, in today's society, men are still be expected to be strong and be, uh, you know, nurturers and, and uh, caretakers all the time. You never wanted like a 20-foot-tall lady to just pick you up and tell you everything's going to be okay? <laughs> Like to pick you up in like one hand and then like just have a slice of pepperoni pizza in the other one. I mean, I could, I know your favorite childhood nursery rhyme. Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> of course. A classic. All right. There's All right, nice. Be, and there's gotta be what heat is this down thing? here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have no idea. Recover cash. Oh, we, we could chill here until we recover, unless the circle's gonna push us. Oh, there's people on the hill on the pink Barbie car. Huge. D did you kill him? That was huge, man. No. Kylo Ren did up there. Glinting, glinting, glinting. Nice miss, bro. Too bad. I, I don't miss. I don't miss. There's 116 damage on your forehead. Another oh, there's another 116? Okay, I'm, I'm bailing. I'm you go down the hill. Oh, okay. I'm, I, I stayed up for now. Yo, this thing is like what Ridley Scott does in uh, Ghostbusters. They're they're in the house now. What Ridley Scott does in Ghostbusters. What's the lady called in who's in the Ridley Scott movies? Sigourney Weaver. I, oh. Yeah. I, I don't want to take this. I want to go further up the hill. These guys are scaring me. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not used to fighting real people in this game. Ridley Scott. <laughs> Ridley. So, so Sigourney Weaver in Ghostbusters. Yeah. As a kid, you're kind of like, all right, I get it. You know? Yeah. I mean, she's like six foot four. She's strong. She could probably pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a question for you about your TikToks. Yes. If I had to guess the room in which you publish them, <laughs> would that room have a sink and a toilet? In yes, it? yes, it would. <laughs> yes, it would. How did you know that? I just figured you're like efficientizing your life and I'd be like, OK, mm -hmm. if he's going to do that, he's not going to take real time out of the day to do that. I have them in drafts and then I, I push them at 6 a.m. every day uh, when I'm on the bathroom toilet. It's respectable. Right. Like, it's not like I'm doing anything else anyway. What is this emote? It won't come out. <laughs> we gotta get. Oh, is that Leonardo's sword? Where? No, that you just cut everything oh, up with. Oh no, this is just whatever they they stuck me with. 
Oh. You want to go see Captain Falcon over here? Like, what? You want to? You want to merc oh. this fool? Yeah, let's do it. They honestly never stood a chance. That was like some Anakin Skywalker stuff right there. That, I, I, I'm a little bit disgusted. You want that perp AR? Yeah, Ooh. I need that. Like, let me let me get this big slurper real quick. Speaking of being Disney pilled, have you ever been to the Star Wars stuff at Disney? Is there Star Wars stuff on the cruises? Um, not on the cruise, at least not on the ship that I've been on. Uh, I, I hate to even ask. Can I get some sniper ammo if you <laughs> if you got it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I've been to this stuff at at uh, at oh thank you at, yeah. at Disney World and and at uh, California Adventure. I've been to the Star Wars stuff there. There's no cruise. <clears throat> Well, they did. Remember, they made that Galactic Star Cruiser, and then they shut it down. Why? I think because it just. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna make me a hater, okay? I watched a video of people at the Galactic Star Cruiser, and to stay for like three nights for two people is like five grand. So A, it's like insanely expensive, and then B, like all the the live action stuff seemed cool if you were like into Star Wars. But I was also like super annoyed that it was like, I, this is my parental bias coming out. I was like, why is it all like 50 year old men with their phones out filming these actors? And there's literally like no kids on the whole thing. I'm like, it's, it's Star it's Wars, me. bro. It's Star Wars. Like it's for, it's for kids. It's for everybody. But like the fact that there were like none kids on the ship, I was like, it's just the vibe is kind of off for me. Okay. Like, I so get that it's a more pleasant experience. Like, no, no seven-year-old having the time of his life is going to, like, ruin your ability to play, you know, Ensign, sir, Ensign Majors reporting for duty. Like, no, no kid's going to be like, Mom, I'm hungry. But at the same time, it was just like, I don't know. The vibe was, was weird for me. Wait, did it, did they shut it down? I don't know. It, it's preparing to be sunset or it's shut down already. Okay, I got, I'm going to look up some videos on it because... I want to see what it's like and see what you're talking about. Yo, you got the size. I got to take those. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. Donnie's coming. His shield's broken. I can find a way up there. Donnie's coming. Get behind me, sir. Oh, he's Splinter. Splinter that! <laughs> yeah, stay still. I'm, I'm, right. I'm resin. I'm resin. You got heals surrounding you on all sides. Good save. Good save. Apparently, with Ninja Turtles weapons, you can also double jump. I did not oh. know. Do you, Thanks need, for the uh, do you need shields? Yes, please, if you got them. Thank you, sir. Go crazy. Don't stop till you're numb. <laughs> There's a big pot there, too. It can get you to full. Oh, my favorite kind. It's getting hot. Seven people remain. Can we get to the roof? Oh, of course we can get to the roof. That's where he was. We got the size. We got the shields. We got the snipers. If only I could find rooftop access. What is this, this Spanish house, bro? How do you get to the roof? Via this area right here. Dude, I don't even know what these weapons are anymore. They're, they're taking pot shots at me. They're, they're um, 35 in the woods. Okay. They're going to be sieging our house. I'm, I'm waiting for them ground level with size ready to go. Okay. Yo, Rainbow Six Siege! No, sorry, you're right. I forgot to get low. I keep the MF and thing on me. They're 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 ready. We're ready. They're ready. I think they're one floor up on us. Okay. Or one floor down. Let them know who we're repping. We're in the dang sewers, bro. I think they're what, above us. What, what do you think about this? This can't be a good idea. We'll probably end up not being in the circle anymore. 
Oh. oh. Shredder's Lair. Okay, just stay low, stay low. Seven people remain. We're gonna walk out. We're gonna we're gonna go out this way. Oh, we, that's that's foundational wall. That's a load bearing wall. I'm with you. Okay, we just wait uh, wait until the circle passes us by, and then we'll pop out of the garage door with the wind at our back. Okay. Oh, baby. <laughs> Hang on, I need a slice. Never hurts to get more ammo. Wanna get the shield out real quick? Why are you holding that gun like you're playing GTA RP? <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Mars, bro! Oh. They're, oh they're, 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 they're coming out soon. Okay, just hide over here for a sec. This is where third person has an advantage. They're, you know, they're, they're to your left. They're, they're they're coming. They're coming. Gordon Freeman. Let's go left. Go, Let's go, go left. Him. Okay, one's down. I have no idea how they got away so fast. Behind the rock. I'm on. I'm in the other fight now. They got it. They got a goaded. Great. They got a glitter. The glitter near the train. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been downed. Good luck, Daniel. Good luck to you. I'm in trouble here. Can you be res? No, no. I, well, I, I can, but I think I'm I'm too dangerous to get right now. Oh, the blue. Just go. Just go. Oh, you got to admire the courage. I tried to save you. So we got we got pinched at the end. We got pinched at the end. My, my plan was ill conceived, I think. I'm just getting a wall of question marks in my chat for making that move. You know, at least I, I, I know that you respected the, the bravery, you know? Wait, of real course, quick. Yeah. Are you are you watching this guy? This this was I, I don't even like to look at Peter Griffin with the Among Us on his back. I mean <laughs> I find it insubordinate and churlish. If I if I hit my headshot on that guy, we're going I mean we're we're winning and then I'm all call it, we're going back to back. Back to back. Alright, it's our time. You gotta say though, with with the advent of Bellatro, Elden Ring DLC, also there's a Italian Souls game coming out. It's like, I think we're starting to eat good again. Wait, I was, <laughs> Italian souls. No, there's, so, so I'm doing this deal with it's, it's an Italian souls game and it's release date is June 21st. I've already committed to guess mm -hmm. what day the Elden Ring DLC comes out. This is like June 24th. June 21st. Oh no. <laughs> I get an email to send to the Italian souls people. I'm excited for your game, but. Can you, can you blow up president. your whole uh, marketing plan and just like we'll run it a week early? Oh. It's crazy that now there will be two Italian Souls games. What's the other one? Uh, Lies of P, the game of last year. That's not Italian though. Pinocchio's Italian, bro. No, this was made by Italians and it's set in Italy. Okay, well, I don't know where Lies of P is set. It's set in like, I don't know, cyber, cyber England or something. But Lies of P, it, it's Pinocchio's Italian, bro. You don't think I don't know about uh, Carlo Collodi? Carlo Collodi. I told you I read that book, right, once I started playing Lies of P. You, you read Pinocchio? The original, yeah, because I'm like, oh, let me read this to my sons. Bro, it is an adult fiction novel. They So at Disneyland, there's a Pinocchio ride. And yeah. uh, hang on, I got to thank the bus driver. Uh, it's you can tell it's one of those ones they built when people were built different and now they're gonna like they're slowly reworking them all to be like way less scary the pinocchio one is like 40 seconds of sheer terror like you st you get into one of like the little cars it doesn't even have a seat belt or anything so you know it's not going to be like a thrill ride then you like go through the first set of doors and it's like hey pinocchio you're a real boy and then it's hee haw hee haw <laughs> And the turns are like 179 <laughs> degrees, like you're getting whipped around, like it's, it's insane, man.
they were cooking up something different in the 80s. Nowadays, I mean, all the rides are like, uh, you know, you just hop on and you hear let it go and then you're at the end. They're like, <laughs> make sure you swing by the gift shop. Do, do they have rides on the Disney Cruise? Uh, no. No rides at all. They have, a, they have like a water slide. The, do they have di the casinos on the Disney Cruise? They have none casinos as well. Really? Yeah, it's casino-less. Could you imagine pulling up to the blackjack though and Minnie's there, you know, dealing it out? <laughs> I think it goes against their their brand, uh, their brand. <laughs> As though they got a couple gotcha games. They could have like a an ESPN bet sports betting lounge. <laughs> There's a dude inside of this tower, bro. Okay. Let's watch, let him know where we're this. Running. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. Is he on you? No, I came up. I'm with on him. him, bro. I'm on him. He just Wait, has, how's he building? He's got no answer. He's got no answer. Wait, when you went to um Disney Star Wars Land, yeah. Was it was it sweaty like anime convention or were there kids there? Yeah, there were kids there because it was at Disney World. Yeah. And the vibes were were fine. It's the second time you said vibes and our obsession. Like the, um, they did a really good job on just like the atmosphere of the area. There's lots of like, like AR stuff that you can do using like an app on your phone and just the, what can I say? The vibes are on, bro. How are the, if you go out like, for someone who's never been on a Disney cruise and probably we will never go on one, but maybe, how would you describe the vibes of a Disney cruise? Um, I don't know. Everybody's chilling. Everybody's pretty relaxed. They're all on vacation. The, vi the vibes are okay. Like, are people, like, drinking, like, a couple Mickey tonics, or is it not that kind of cruise? I think it's exactly that kind of cruise. Okay. Dude, I'm insane with the sniper. I'm insane with the sniper, bro. I've been getting nonstop kills. <laughs> and doing some, some tourism work for the Disney Corporation. All right, I'm with you. Have, have you been on a cruise of any uh, variety? Uh, in 1996, yes. Mm. They had boats back then. They did. But it was like, don't... My thing is, like, do you ever feel, like, closty? Not really, but the last one we went on was 10 days. And by the time we disembarked, I was, like, ready to be off. <laughs> But then Just the flip side was like, oh, I got to figure out where I'm going to eat for dinner tonight. Was it too much vacation or is too much cruise? Um, I, I honestly, I don't know. You're just ready for a change of scenery after a certain point, right? That being said, I, I know it surprises people, but I totally think I would be one of the guys like age 70 and be like, hey, this cruise is six months long. Like, are you interested? I would be like, yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Send it. When you do the cruises, are they always the same ship? No, they they have a few that they like they rotate. Gotcha. The thing is, like I I you can't explain it to people, and it's fine either way. But um, like for our crew, a cruise will go insane. You know how like some of the people that we come to PAX, they're like, I'm so excited for PAX. They talk about it for like eight months, and then when they get there, they just spend the whole time in their hotel room. That's yeah. a cruise, but like you're still with your friends. You're meeting them for dinner every night because dinner is yeah. like 17 steps from your room. There's activities that you can do without leaving the comfort of the ship. Like it's, it's very convenient. Bro, can I float this out there as like a 30% chance that it may happen one day? Absolutely. When our kids get of age where, you know, they can like do stuff on their own, I'd be down to do that. It would go crazy. Yeah. Because then you can hang out with the kids, but also like, hey, dad's going to be... Sipping Mai Tais at the pool, talking about the Bellatro days, if who's, you need me. Who's going to buy know? the Wi-Fi so we can stream the whole thing, though? Because <laughs> it's very, it's expensive to get the Wi-Fi on the boat. The packets at sea cost, uh, they cost a little extra. All right. What are we doing here? I, have, just I actually have no idea. I am, I guess I'm looting. 
But also, I'm kind of like, I'm riding on a high from getting the greatest kills of my life. Okay, I'm with you. Like, there, there were some snipes that... I, I, me, five years ago, I wouldn't be hidden. I gotta be the only guy getting better at games as I get older. Hey, I think there's a dude in my building, though. Someone was just shooting at me when I picked up... Jake Paul's whip. I'm gonna break the wall and get in your car. There he is. I'm not, right down. Yeah, go out the window and down. Okay, I'm on it. He's dead. Nice. Nice pop. Nice pop. You know what? Pick one of those. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Chad, that's not a bot kill. Don't even say that. How is that a bot? That, a bot kill. Did you see that person? They didn't look like Chad GPT. Oh, oh, follow me, brother. There's there's free fights coming up here. Yo, give me a Pepsi free. Now we're talking. Yo, I said I said give me I'd like a Pepsi free. Look, if you're gonna Pepsi, <laughs> oh, no, I see. Oh, you're he's boomer posting. Oh, okay. He's 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 posting about Back to the Future. There's a guy on me. Oh! Nice shot. Dude, I, I have to say, you influenced the heck out of me. I was like, I went from no diet cokes a day to like one a day for 16 days, but now I'm off the hard stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I I'm, understand. I, yeah. I'm like, I got to get off, man. I. I you, it's it, good though. It's it's so good. You have to get off. If it sucked, you could keep drinking it forever. I understand. Yeah. Are you um are you are you using your sniper ammunition? No, you can have it. Oh, dude, you don't you don't know what this does for the team. Do you have any uh, juice boxes for me, by chance? Well, these are the Pepsi Freeze that I was. Uh, oh, I was tossing Thanks. these. You know, I, I wanted to get your thoughts on this because yeah, we, I mean um, especially as a result of our families, we live in the real world. <laughs> Which I, I, I mean it since I mean it as a joke, but I also mean it sincerely. Because someone in chat just said, I wish all old people were like this, which is a great comment. And it's nice to hear. But at the same time, I, I sometimes get into arguments with my chat because I'm like, you guys wouldn't know, but we're really like not that old. If you step outside of the confines of your home, there's like some real old people out there. Yeah, and I think like if you were to line up 20, 40 year old dudes, we're probably at the end of like the, the jail lineup as being the most relatable. Absolutely. Right? I have to imagine. <laughs> because streamers are the only people I really talk to, but why is everyone saying copium though? But I'm serious. It's like if we put the average forty year old on stream, he'd be like, why, why are you talking about Costco and IRAs? You know? Yeah, he'd be like, What the heck is Skibbity Riz? <laughs> Fortnite? What is that? Is that like Italian? 40 year old normies, yeah. Well, I'm also, uh, I'm not 40, I'm 35, so. That's kind of wild that you're 35. Kind of crazy, right? I definitely, like, I, I wouldn't say I, oh, there's two lads down here. Let's merc them and then talk about our feelings. They've, they've, they're glinting. They've run to the boathouse, tapped one for 105 because I'm built different. They're on the left side of the boathouse. Okay. I'm rapping on him. Oh, he just launched himself. I've done 105 again. Just holding. Oh, he got out of there. The other one left. He bounced out of there. Where'd they go? Uh, up on that hill near the blue. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they're glinting me. He's, he's hit me bad. I'm running. I'm getting out of here. I don't think we can take this one. Okay. They're gonna they're gonna get me, I think. Side, side, side. Oh, no. Never mind, I'm straight chilling. You want you want a tower? I think I think we got a hold here. They broke up my rock! Oh. Yeah, hold hold on the tower, hold on the tower. Like me versus them in a sniper duel, they're they're torched. Don't even worry oh. about it. It's an Oompa Loompa. They're in the, they're in our other tower. Tag them for a buck twenty. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, it's got it has the tower has our skin on it. 
Oh, nice shot. They're gonna rush. I, I think I gotta take them. Yeah, yeah, they're rushing. Them. Oh my god! Is that the Splatoon girl? Okay, that that was the worst engagement I've ever seen in my entire life. That's my fault. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, they were just they they had all the tools to close the gap. Then they they had like comms. Like one of them went straight for you. The other one was focused on me. I was trying to stop the one from taking you. But then the one that was getting on me, I was like, what do I do? That's all good, but look at this tower. You see the tower? Yeah. It has our flags on it. Yeah. That's what I was focused on. So they know what they know who we're repping. They know who we're repping. No, I, th I think if, if, if you had sniper cover, we win that fight. Yeah, those guys are 40 for sure. <laughs> but I think I, I don't feel old. Like when people talk about being old, it's always like 27-year-olds who are like, oh, my knees hurt. Like, I, I've started to look at my life and be like, the world that existed when I was a child is not there anymore. Like, when, whenever I tell a story, people are like, damn, you're old. I'm like, well, 1996, when Jerry Maguire really came out, all the video stores were like wall-to-wall -wall Jerry Maguire. And then, like, 20-year-olds are like... Brother, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Jerry Maguire, Blockbuster, like this, this stuff doesn't exist anymore. You were, you were having lunch in the Zeller's restaurant? What the heck is Zeller's? Is there, because I agree, that world's gone. But if you could bring it back for 24 hours, how would you spend the 24 hours in the 90s? I would probably eat like a well. Can I bring like my wallet back with me? Yeah. I would eat like, a, I would probably eat twenty dinners. Can you imagine going out to eat with twenty twenty four bucks in your pocket at nineteen ninety six prices? Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm give me one of each. Where would you go though? The keg? I I I would hit places that don't even exist anymore. Take me to Subway before they started cutting through the side of the bread when they still did the gouge cut through the top. What do you mean cutting through the side of the bread? You know, like at Subway now, they slice through like the, the equator of the bread, like the way that yeah. you would do it at home. And then yeah. they used to, in the 90s and the early 2000s, they used to do a gouge cut at Subway where they cut out like a little tunnel in the top of the bread and then they filled the ingredients in and then they put the little bread yep. wedge back on top. I forgot about that. The wedge cut, man. Yo, hear me out. What about going to McDonald's and getting everything in white foam containers? Oh, dude, they didn't care at <laughs> all. <laughs> it just tasted better, man. Then you get a glass bottle of Gatorade. It oh, just tastes better man. in the glass. Why did they get away from glass? It's just did, sand. I think it's expensive. Didn't they? Yeah, have, but well, like they had, they had like you're a little bit older than me, not to put you on the spot. They had glass at McDonald's when you were a kid. No, no, <laughs> that, is, that seems insane to me. <laughs> no, uh, glass. If you were to get Gatorade when I was like probably early grade school, mm, okay, it was in glass. Really? And, like you would get twelve glass bottles of Gatorade? No, you get like one. Okay, they didn't. Still. They didn't sell twelve packs back then. People weren't as thirsty well, that, back then. No, but then also, like, you have to think about the context of where it's used. It was used in, like, sporting events. Yeah. So, like, the propensity of... Oh, get ripped. Um, of a glass ball to be broken in a basketball court, baseball diamond. Yeah, high. It's probably pretty high. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine. I mean, they call it the hard court for a reason. Wait, did you have to use a bottle opener to open the Gatorade, or did it have a twist top? It was a Snapple top. Okay. Oh. Wrong corner to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the auto shotty. Right, let's do this. That is crazy. So you, so you would spend all your your time going to '90s restaurants. I don't know if I'd spend all my time, but that'd be like the start. I also just, would, I, I know this is like, and I, I hate to bring it up because I know you're going to agree. It would be better if you disagreed and we could get some conversation. But like, I feel like social media kind of like irreparably cooked the world to some extent. I think that just being back in 1996 and like wanting, like feeling my brain be like, I want to be mad about something. And then like having no outlet to actually get mad at except like the newspaper would be really refreshing.
Yo, let me let me welcome you to something. Okay. okay and yeah. and and I, I never I never ask anyone to do this, but you gotta see it to believe it. Um Oh hold on, I left it upstairs. Cover me. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna bring back his light phone. Here comes the light phone. Um they I've I've seen Dan talk about his light phone before uh, before. Sorry, I became Colin Farrell for a second there. I think it's one step too far for me. Um, but I'm I'm eager to hear his thoughts nonetheless. Wait, you can rush people with the shield? All right, you brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, I, I don't. I'm not asking this for views. I'm asking this for your for your own pleasure. If you're at, it, switch over to my my stream for a second. Okay. I'm gonna show Ryan talk about going back to the '90s. No social media. I'm holding you, holding up the ticket to the '90s right here. <laughs> What I'm holding is a phone that only has three things on it. Phone, alarm, and settings. Yes, this is real. It's not a glitch. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this, Ryan. As yeah. You could call me a boomer. You could call me whatever you call me late for supper. But you know how you said, like, hey, I need something to be mad about? Yeah, yeah. You don't have the option anymore. No. Now it's like, that's out of my pocket. Like, I don't even worry about social media. I worry about nothing because all I got is a little, little tiny phone in my pocket. I do have a question about the phone. Yeah. yeah. So like, because it has no apps, what does settings yeah. do? Like what settings for what? <laughs> for like brightness, I guess? The set, there's a, uh, you can go dark mode. Okay. Yeah. You can That's go important. like arm, army time if you prefer. So it's really like Palm Pilot 1998. Like you would go into the settings menu and you'd be like, holy cow, they've got a world clock in this. Yeah, I mean, there's probably three settings on the phone. That is crazy. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. Don't get me wrong. I did see the ad you played for it where the dude showed you how easy it was to get an Uber. And it was him. He had to call a phone number for Uber and then be like. Hey, can I get an Uber to this address to this place? And then I guess like someone on the other line like puts it into the app or something. I so I will say this was a caveat because with my cell phone plan, I, did, I didn't know, but it was nice. So like I was able to add it for free. So I have like a new okay. phone number. But if I travel, I bring my iPhone with me because it would be like you yeah. would have to be hooked to try and travel with just that. I mean, imagine just scrolling through the, the settings menu for like a five hour flight. <laughs> military time, 12 hour clock, military time, 12 hour clock. Oh, no, I, been... I get it though. Like I, I don't think I'm ready to take that step, but I do understand. Yeah. And it, it's, it just comes from like when I spent those three weeks in Scotland, I didn't have a cell phone and yeah. I'm like, well, this, this was really, really fun and amazing. So why not try and recreate as much of it without being a negligent parent as possible? You know? <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> Wait, did, did they force you to go cell phoneless, or was it a personal choice? No, they, they took your phones. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, no they comment. Could, I couldn't be texting Tamara from The Real Housewives about, you know, hey, what do we oh, think about... Oh, of course. Yeah. I, that makes sense. All right. Ooh, nice discovery. Look at this. I mean, this is a nice little place right here. I still maintain, like, one of the greatest quality of life things for a streamer is do not get Discord on your phone. It just you know, when you, it means yeah. you're unreachable, like on the most common place to be reached, like 24 hours a day. Yeah, and when you like when you said that to me, I'm like, I almost it makes me cognizant of when I message you now too. You know what I mean? I'm I think, like, I'm I'm happy to see the messages whenever the messages come in. It's just like you know, oh I, I'm I'm helping. Oh, he's at the okay. door, brother. Coming. Let him know who you're repping. Here, I'm, I'm taking the door out. Let's go. He's His got buddy's a buddy. coming. Yeah, he's, he's on the ground floor. Never stood a chance. <laughs> Zero Slurp pings. It up. Zero pings. Do you have your sniper? I do. I had 27 bullets in it, too. Okay, good. I mean, I'm going to take this one, then. Legendary auto shot. He kind of goes insane. But I do think I don't. I, I would say like for the normie person like myself, it would be nearly impossible to go light phone only. 
Yeah, you know? I mean, like, you're, you're giving up a lot. As much as people are like, the phones are ruining society, it is nice to, like, not have to drive to the airport to buy a plane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there's a lot of positivity that's come as well, I would say, but it's, I think it's like the internet's great. It's, it's just social media is like, are you, let me give you an example. I, I wake up in the morning, you know, post a TikTok, go to Twitter. And like the first thing I see is just like, um, I, for some reason, I think that, uh, Twitter thinks like I'm part of some male versus female war on society so i'm constantly seeing like posts from influencer dudes that are like you know women are cooked and then posts replying to it from influencer women who are like no actually men are cooked and i'm like you guys realize that you're destroying society right like every day you wake up and you're like i'm going to erode the fabric of of modern life that's what you like you're, you're gonna die and and saint peter's gonna be like it was actually like a net negative on the world <laughs> Can't you just post like a grilled cheese sandwich or something like that? Like, what's the what's the issue? And Who you, do you and, think? <laughs> oh God! Well, it's just and and you know when there was like the first uh, wave of payments came out for Twitter Blue subscribers and people were like, "Holy cow! I just got paid like thirty five hundred bucks for the two weeks on X." I was like, "Oh, I get it now. They're hustling." But now that like the payments are like seventeen dollars biweekly, I'm like, "You're literally like." You're like a, a, a surf in the culture war. Like, what are you doing? Nobody's winning. You're like, surf like, <laughs> like a, a peasant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my, my question is, who do you think you follow that delineates? Oh, we got one up on the hill, DR, right? He looks like uh, Aquaman. Understood. Did he just fly? No, he's, he's just sitting there. Um... Who do you think you follow on Twitter where the algorithm bleeds into you? I think probably, I, I, I think I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to the algorithm sometimes. I'll see a tweet that's so stupid. That's like, I got to <laughs> click on this and see what this person's all about. Then uh, there's it up. immediately, it's like when you buy something on Amazon and Jeff Bezos is like, well, if you like that fridge filter you just bought, maybe you'd be interested in buying another fridge filter. Get cooked, One down. Buddy. Another Another buddy looks the same. Yeah. Where is he? They built a port of fort near us. Oh, there are there's some behind us too. We got problems. I got a oh, Daniel, you're insane! I'm down, but if you're okay, you're okay. <laughs> okay, I'm slurping, then I'm coming in. Hold on, uh there's coming in from the north. Understandable. You got time, don't worry about me. You're sandwiched right yeah, now. Yeah, I got sandwiched. Oh. I didn't I didn't know that. You did say them. I didn't know there were two though. You guys, they're bringing some serious heat. Well, Ryan, I would hope to do this more often. Yes. And not go like six months, or at least you know, we'll, we'll be we'll 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 get in the lab and cook some. But um, I know you got some balacha to play. I'm actually going to go to the gym and keep some sanity. Um, I understand. But it was fun. In Bellatro, if you see the DNA card, you have to take it. All right. I, no matter I, what. Well, that's every run. I end up with the old bat face and the DNA card what it's about i mean the dna card is really good you can just make anything you want forever mm -hmm. but um no it's fun man let's uh what's it like to have a good card because i got the egg joker it doesn't do anything but my, my thing with the egg joker is it doesn't look like you why didn't he just <laughs> yeah. slap some glasses on you you know and like some some witty snark i ain't mad at you i ain't mad. caught i ain't mad at you um can we get some egg life in chat what is it called